Hey y'all, welcome back. This is my trip to Australia. I went by myself actually. It was amazing. I highly encourage everybody to go on a trip by themselves. I mean, it doesn't have to be halfway across the world, but yeah, this is my hotel room that I was there in Sydney. It was so weird. As soon as I landed, I just called my mom and it was weird because it was like 10 a.m. for me and it was like 3 p.m. for her the day before. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, Sydney is an amazing city. It's one of my favorite cities. I think y'all have heard if I have talked before, like LA, New York, Miami, Sydney are some of my favorite cities. Everyone speaks English, obviously, with an accent. They just have such a chill, laid back kind of vibe, like beach life vibes, like LA. A lot of people are just really relaxed and I really, really appreciated that. That's the Sydney Opera House, me in front of it. I went on a walking tour um, that was free. It was just donations. So that is something you can do in every major city. This is the Circular Key area, which is spelled Quay. If you ever see a Circular Quay, it's pronounced Circular Key. So yeah, it was easy to get around on the trains there. I didn't have data on my phone as usual, but I used the Wi-Fi when I could and the maps kind of still loads. So I use that. The breakfasts in Sydney and Australia in general were amazing. They have really strong coffee. It was delicious. They eat a lot of like poached eggs and avocado toast and that type of stuff. Just so delicious. And then on this day, I went to Manly, which is the beach that kind of like SpongeBob is based off of. So that was just hilarious to me. But yeah, it was a chill beach town. They had like a food festival fair thing going on. So I was able to eat some delicious food from food trucks and just people watch. There were moments on the ship when it was kind of lonely and I mean, scary being by yourself across the world. You don't know anybody, but it was overall just like so unreal. I couldn't believe I was doing what I was doing a lot of the different times and just, yeah, I'm kind of lost for words at how wonderful it was. I had a ton of good food. I got to see beautiful things. This is the Taranga Zoo. It's like on its own island. Uh, I scheduled a time to see a koala and do like a little encounter with one. And they're so cute. One of them was named Sydney. That was a baby. You can't hold them obviously. And if you do go somewhere that can hold them, that's like pretty illegal and they're probably tranquilized. So please don't, don't do that. Just look at the koalas. <laughs> they're so cute. The mom and the baby. Yeah, Taranga Zoo was insane. It's like on an island surrounded by water. Just beautiful. I'm not sure if I said this already, but the weather was incredible when I was there. That's kind of the Sydney skyline uh, view from the zoo. Obviously, I had to see a kangaroo. They were just chilling just right off the sidewalk. They weren't even in an enclosed like area. So people really trust them to just be out, uh, just hanging out. And then this is Bondi. A lot of people would recognize some of the photos i have coming up bondi beach um also bondi rescue was filmed there <laughs> um that's bondi icebergs club it's just a pool club i didn't go in there because it was too cold but yeah i watched a lot of bondi rescue in the hotel <laughs> it was fun it was just like a lifeguard rescue show um when i was in bondi i did the bondi to kugi or kuji walk which is like a little beach coastal trail. And it was really fun. I met this girl, Emily, who is my age. Here she is. <laughs> and we just did the whole walk together and she was there by herself as well. It was so much fun. We just had a really good time just talking. She's from England and I'm from the US. So it was really, really unique. And we still talk all the time. We're friends on Instagram. And it was just crazy that we met. And then this is me. Uh, I'm going to Cannes now and I'm showing that you could take an Uber uh scuba <laughs> and i stayed at this like golf resort in Carnes. i'm not sure how to properly pronounce it but i flew here so it's the northern part of australia um so that i could see the great barrier reef i kind of wish i would have stayed longer and go to like melbourne or like gold coast or just like other cities in australia because i already can't wait to go back to australia <laughs> like it was just so wonderful and i love it the Great Barrier Reef was incredible. It's not actually dying. A lot of people say that on social media and it's not like it's a living organism. It rebirths itself. It sheds off parts of itself. Like it's not dying. So really you don't need to worry about that. <laughs> uh, I also went to Tarong or no, no, no. Arunda, I think it was. Karunda. Yeah. It was like a little 
town randomly just in the mountains and i got there kind of late before everything was closed i mean when everything was closed it was like a really last minute decision but it was so cool to see this little like mountain town with uh native people in there and just selling things it was really really cool yeah i decided the day that i got there that i was gonna go so it was really last minute but you got to take the sky rail over and yeah just like so beautiful I was just chilling, looking at all. I took a screenshot of myself in Australia, like that my location was there because <laughs> I just thought it was neat. And I went to this little street in Carnes and just was able to kind of look around at the beach and eat some food, just like chill, kind of eat some pizza and just listen to the ocean and the sunset. It was amazing. I strongly encourage everybody to go to Australia. And then here's the Great Barrier Reef from the glass bottom boat when I took the trip out there, the day trip. This bus just like picked me up from my hotel and I went and then I ended up doing a uh, scuba diving, like swimming. And I was just under there for 30 minutes, just chilling. Um, it was amazing, it's incredible. And the reef is an organism, it's alive, it sheds itself, um, it's not dying. A lot of people say that on social media. It just goes through its natural life cycles and the, it, it ble the bleach look is part of its life cycle. So, you know, like it's not dying, but I still encourage you to go see it as soon as you can. <laughs> and had the nice buffet lunch. We were feeding some animals that came up like little sharks, I think. I was too scared. <laughs> and here's the view from the golf course resort. It was such a beautiful place. I found on just like hotels.com or something. That's another picture from Bondi. That's in Sydney. Um, on the way back, I flew through Sydney and stayed overnight. It was great. I was in like the business district when before I was in Darlinghurst, Darlinghurst area. And then on the way back, I flew from Sydney to San Francisco. So I flew at like 10 a.m. Sydney time and landed in San Francisco, like 8 a.m. San Francisco time. So I didn't realize that I hadn't slept the whole flight or anything. And it's just weird to like time travel like that. So I had about eight hours and I just left the airport and had my backpack and walked around San Francisco just because I really wanted to explore. And these are some of my Snapchat videos if it's a different quality here. Yeah, San Francisco is really cool. I just looked up all the different San Francisco stuff I could do and just kind of did as much as I could in the short time that I had. I couldn't go to the Golden Gate Bridge, but I think I ended up seeing it anyway. I went to some other really beautiful places before I went back to the airport. But yeah, this trip was amazing. I strongly encourage everyone to do something like this if you can. I had an amazing time. Um... It was scary sometimes being alone, but overall it was so worth it and just incredible to not have to worry about anyone else but myself and just get to do whatever I wanted in this country across the world. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more of my travel videos and I appreciate you all so much for watching. Thank you.